Hello everyone, it's Newman Thomas here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to address one key issue that a lot of businesses here in New Zealand, marketing agencies and companies are experiencing, which is within Go High Level, you can't natively send marketing SMS. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like and to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for everyone that has already subscribed. So this video is to address that key issue. So the problem is there is no solution in Go High Level to send marketing SMS here in New Zealand. France is also experiencing that same issue as well. And the reason for that is there are some legal requirements, which is the anti-spam law here in New Zealand, where you can't just send marketing SMS using a phone number. And also there are some consideration as well. So QETX was built specifically uh, by the previous owner, Martin, to solve that issue. So I bought QETX off him a few months ago. Now be mindful of other SMS marketing agencies that do not use a short code. And the reason for that is if the telecommunications provider catch up or catch on that they are sending messages or marketing SMS without short code, they will be shut down. It is illegal what they are doing, so please be mindful. Now, I just want to cover four considerations when it comes to marketing SMS. So this is um, updated five months ago, the SMS compliance and best practice here in New Zealand. So the first consideration is it is compulsory to include your business name and brand name and contact details in the content of the SMS. Also in the content of the SMS, you must include an opt out message. Another consideration is any marketing promotional messages must be sent from a zero rated short code. So what is a short code? If you look on your phone, you would have uh, received some notification SMS from your medical providers, from your telecommunication providers. If you look at the title or the phone number, it doesn't have a mobile number, OT1, OT9, OT7. It will have a four or five digit short code and the reason for that is here in New Zealand, when it comes to SMS marketing, you must use the zero rated short code, a four digit or five digit short code. And the reason for that is there's a lot of spam happening at the moment. So those are the considerations. The fourth consideration is your customers must opt in here in New Zealand to for them to receive marketing materials from you. So you can simply do this by including a tick box on your website uh, to for, the, for your customers to explicitly give consent to you to send marketing materials to them. So those are the considerations. Now for the second part of the video, I will do a demo. Essentially, I will go within in go high level and send a marketing SMS and it will show up on my phone and I will show uh, the step by step. And I will show that message, uh, it comes through on my phone and I will reply uh, from my phone to enable a two-way SMS. That's another good thing about QTX is when your customers reply, you can have a two-way conversation with your clients with and go high level. Then I will also show um, the messages that show up in the logs, make.com and also click send. So what is QTX? So QTX, it integrates seamlessly with go high level you don't see anything what actually happens in the background uh, as a marketing agency as an agency as a business as a company all you need to do is what i'm going to demo in a, in a moment but what actually happens in the background is the previous owner martin he built the software stack there's a lot of things happening in the background integration with make.com integration with click scene integrating with airtable and strive for all the payments. So you don't see a lot of those things in the background. We handle all that. What you see is just in the front end. So let's do the demo. Now within Go High Level, to send the marketing SMS, you need to go to the conversations tab and go to SMS. 
However, what you can also do is you go to contacts. So I'm in this contact here and I'm going to send an SMS. So I'm just going to go to my phone. So right now on my phone, I've been doing some testing. Um, so this bull here is this uh, bull here. So what I'll do is I will send a message and you guys can see it's display below this um, this message here. So what I'll do is I'll just type in a number. So 639 and go send. So it's got pending. Just give it a minute. So pending. This is always the part there that that um, that um that I look forward to because it's testing. So now it's showing the time, which means it's sent. As you guys all can see now, there is a message there that has showed up. So what I'll do is you guys can see there's a white uh, message on the right hand side. There's one on this side. What I'll do is I'll send another message. I'll go eight 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 and go send. As you guys can see, it will show up. Um, there will be two messages there. So it's in the state of pending. Let's give it another second. So as you guys can see, there's now two messages that has shown up under the web group. So what I'll do is I'll reply back from this phone. I'll just go 888 send. So there is a message now on the right hand side, which is here. And I just type in the number 888. Oh, which is actually the same number that I sent uh, the previous message in, but it actually showed you. So what I'll do, I'll reply again. This time I'll go 999 and go send. So as you guys can see, the number 999 should show up down here. So if you guys give it another second. So there you go, 999. So, so that's essentially the demo. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just go to yeah yeah i'll show you all in make so uh, like, like what i said there's a lot happening so in make when i um you know send the sms it displays a lot of those informations in make so i just go back so there's a message that was sent at 8 34 um and it was successful 8 33 um, Let's go to the details. Yeah, so that has gone through. So what I'll do, I'll do just give me a minute. Just checking something quickly. Oh, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll bring this across. So this is in, there's no personal information there, nope. So this is in ClickSend. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, the um, the messages that we've seen, which is 999, um, what was the other one, uh, 888. You know, uh, those messages have been sent quite su uh, successfully in ClickSend. So that's the basically the message that I have just seen right here. So we've uh, we've tested it works like, like what I say it just works seamlessly um, in Go High Level, and you don't need to do a lot of things. Now, how how does it work? I'll just go back to my slides. So to learn more about this, uh, you can go to gohighlevel.qtex.co.nz and um, if you're ready to sign up, just um, this is the link here, which I will put in the video. Uh, once you all have a chance to go through that. So let's go to um, gohighlevel.qtex.co.nz Now, if you want to sign up, all you have to do is go to that link, gohighlevel.qtex.co.nz Go to qtex, uh, go here. Now, this is the pricing for an agency. This is a one-off cost. Now, what actually happened is once you have, um, as an agency, sign up. Once you've signed up, uh, we will do an onboarding session. Uh, it will be over video call, like what I'm doing right now. It will be about 15, 20 minutes. You will need to step through a couple of process to install QTX 
on your side so you'll be able to run the uh, send the sms and i will need to activate qtx on my side which is that's what we call the onboarding process all you have to do is um there's also questions here how long does it take to sign up it um takes less than 30 minutes to onboard are there are uh, any uh, ongoing costs to you as an agency um, once you pay the 199 the price has come down from 299 is now 199 and it's going to be 199 for uh, for many months to come the only price uh, cost to you is the cost per sms which is about 12 cents per sms and all you have to do is come down here, fill in your details and um, enter in your credit card details and then we will be able, we will be notified and then I will contact um, you to be able to start the onboarding process. And that is pretty much it uh, for this video. So everyone, thank you for your time and um, kakitara. See ya.